Next car to hit the track is one of the two 411, it looks like. The 411 is Sean uh, Mahurin. And they're bringing the loader in already. Uh, there's more cars still to come here. Loader was a little excited, I think. Still waiting on some more teams. See if they make it. Still waiting on a few more cars to come in here for this 80s Concy. I want to say hello and welcome to all of you joining us watching on Facebook. Facebook Live look in brought to you by Jeffy's Fab Farm. This 80s and newer team Concy also brought to you by Jeffy's. You can visit their website at jeffysfabfarm.com. This might be a short-lived consolation if no other cars are going to make it out. They were scheduled to have three teams out here with a total of six cars. We got two teams, three cars. wonder how it's going to go. Can Sean Mahurin be the odd man out here and beat out the two teammates? Sean Mahurin in the 411, Mike White in the 86W, Kyle Hammers back in the 43. Oh, man. Mahurin came off the line hard. He started a little early, tried to get a jump on these guys. Hammersback met him, and it was damage for both cars, and it was bad for the 411 and Mahurin. It's going to go bad to worse right here as these two drivers pin him against the wall. They're going to take the one-two approach here. Trying to work his way out of that corner is the 411 and Mahurin. He's almost out. Hammersback having trouble. Look at the steering. Steering's locked up. He's trying to work that wheel. Can't get it to turn. And take a shot from White. Look at the trailing arm hanging down below. Rear end is kicked over. And the stick is down angrily on Mahurin's machine in the 411. Helmet is off already. That was a quick battle there. Nice sportsmanship right there. Once again, I want to say thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for giving you a live look in. That was too quick, guys. We're going to keep it on here. We'll keep the Facebook Live on. we got minivan feature coming up next. We'll stick around for that. We'll keep that on as well. I want to say thanks to Jeffy's Fab Farm for doing that for us. Make sure you visit his website at jeffysfabfarm.com or find him on Facebook. Let him know you appreciate his support of our broadcast. I want to also thank our sponsors in, in regards to our, uh, our pit pass driver interviews that we normally do. Brian's Machine Shop. I want to say hi to him. Thank, thank those guys for helping us out. As I said, pretty short-lived constellation here. I think we're probably going to stick it around for the minivans for you on the Jeffy's Fat Farm Live look-in. Congratulations to Brian White, uh, excuse me, Mike White in 86W and Kyle Hammers back in the 43. Kyle took the worst of that, I think. But uh, of the two of those, anyway, Sean took the worst of the three. But uh, Kyle maybe had the box lock up or something went bad there. He was he was trying to turn the wheel and didn't seem to be getting any response out of it.
If you're watching on Facebook, you're thinking about getting the show, there's still a bunch of stuff still to come here tonight. We're going to stay live for the minivan feature. But after that, it's all on DerbyNation.tv. Uh, following the minivan feature is the old man feature, which is for drivers 50 years old or older. There's a bone stock compact feature event, the compact two-man feature event, the bone stock feature, uh, which has the raffle car in it, and uh, the 80s feature event to finish up the night, the 80s team feature event. That uh, bone stock class, taking a look at some of the drivers on that list, is going to be one to, one to watch. A uh, previous winner uh, at um, Midwest Mayhem, Dusty Gilgus, he's, he's coming out. Uh, Bob Whitaker, Eric Blum, Chris Cady, Nick Lucas, Ben Siebers, Jason Strale. All kinds of drivers coming out in that feature event. We'll see how it plays out. Here's a look at one of our minivan drivers. Look, getting ready to come out for the next feature. Let's see, 92. I've got a 925 on the list. That's Steven Terpstra. Have to see as they start rolling out. There's a bunch all over this pit area, but pit area itself is pretty muddy. They're having a hard time getting around, so... People didn't get staged up in the same place. They're going to give Kyle a little bit of extra help here. Skid steer on both ends, maybe. Rain's coming down a little heavier here in Pecatonica. It's been a constant struggle this weekend. It's gone from light to heavy and back again. It was pretty heavy yesterday afternoon, and it looked like on the radar that it wasn't going to get real heavy here until a little bit later tonight, but coming down a little bit more persistently now. It's definitely going to affect this track. They'll scrape it as best they can, and uh, the pit area has been an interesting challenge throughout the day here today so far. We are DTV powered by DEC headers. We're presented by Callier Performance Engines. We appreciate all of their support for our broadcasts and everything they do for the sport. We hope you check out their websites at DECheaders.com and Collier. Hmm, I'll have to look up his website. I always forget what it is. I think it's CollierPerformance.com, but I'll just double check. I know he's got a great Facebook page. You can check that out. Got some good stuff going on there. Callyourperformance.com. Thought so. Minivans rolling out here now. NLR Derby Parts minivan feature. We've got Cody Scott in the 65, Justin Shaner in the 14D, Austin Kepler in the 30K, Douglas Shaw in the 477, Stephen Terpstra in the 925, Jason Hernandez in the 26. Levi Mason in the 89L, RU18, Adam Burke, and the 411 
Fred Saunders. This one here, it looks like it's Y77. Uh, it might be 477. If so, that's Douglas Shaw. I'll have to get a better look at the roof sign. I, maybe they have, uh, they have it written wrong. Oh, yeah, they do. Y77 on the hood right there. I'll change that. Douglas Shaw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minivans. These guys usually go pretty hard. And we're going to go down to one. NLRWParts.com bringing us this minivan feature. John Mavis and the rest of the crew over there take great care of you. They're just going to have a whole bunch of stuff back in stock, so get your orders in. There's the RU18. Okay, so we got the 411 of Fred Saunders coming in. So this is minivans and SUVs. And a couple of guys here, the odd men out in the SUV class, or the SUV cars, I should say. Vehicles. Some of these guys opting to not even wire or bolt the hoods down. The Y77 appears to not have anything holding the hood down. Some real stock builds versus some uh, some more built anyway. Oh, there you go. We got stuff on the core support, and I guess the front part of the hood is being held down now. Y77. Good bumper on the uh, 89 Alan Mason. Green flag. A little bit of hesitation here from Mason. Coming off the line, putting a wheel shot on the RU18. Another wheel shot on that machine. 925 getting pushed sideways. You can see how slick this track is. Rocked against the wall. Action on both sides of the track. Mike Mowry here, the official getting covered in mud. Oh, don't do that. Big shot. 89 L of Mason. Up underneath the 411 of Saunders. Whole rear end moved on the 411. That might have broke a drive shaft or something with him. No, nope, wheels are spinning. But that th those wheel shots early on in this heat or feature caused some damage there. That wheel's bent over on the driver's side. 30K Kepler going for a ride. Here comes Mason. And the other side, the 26. Jason Hernandez, the 26. Big shot. RU18 idle on the wall. 925 getting rocked around like a ping pong ball here. Uh oh. Double shot. Those two vans just sent them to infinity and beyond. Cody Scott in the 65. Whoa. That's a big shot coming in there. My goodness. 925 Steven Terpstra just took that shot in the wheel. And rocked that thing. They're not done. Look out. Oh. Terpstra made somebody mad. Big shot. Kepler in the 30K. Got a wheel off. 65. Cody Scott lost a wheel. And the 26 was going for more on the 925. Saved by the bell there. Yep. He's saying, which one was it? Fourteen D of Justin Shaner taking a look over his shoulder. NLRWParts.com bringing us this minivan feature. Shambles welding red flag on the track for that tire is all said and done.
We're back to green. K. Kepler sitting idle. Ah, broken axle will do that to you. No go for him. Hernandez in the 26. The three-wheeled 65 of Cody Scott. Shaner in the 14D. Hernandez trying to protect that front axle. Here comes Shaner. Back to back they go. Hard shot there. Y77 fired and moved. I don't know if he's still at time or not. Officials check the radios. Douglas Shaw took a shot. Now be counted again. These three vans making sure he doesn't refire. Shaner in the 14D. Hernandez in the 26. Cody Scott in the 65. Scott gets, uh, not Scott, I'm sorry. Shaw got fired, but did not make contact with the live vehicle, being counted down. He was using a hand throttle, and he's out of time. They're telling him to break off. Oof, that was a big shot. Man, his head came off on a slinky right there. He is not paying attention to the officials, and the stick is going down. We're officially down to three. Hernandez turned it around in the middle of the track, going down to the other side. Shaner starting to go up in smoke. Hernandez looking to kill shot here. Oh. Back of that van is packed in very well on the 26. A lot of steam out of Scott's machine in the 65 now. Justin Shaner, the 14B, it looked like on his hood. He's running in memory of Steve Shaner. Scott using the nose. Cody Scott wheeling it around on three wheels. Not a lot of damage to that thing because of the mud here on the track. These, you know, it's absorbing the shots. Got a fire. Scissors is on the track before they're stopped. It's going to get hit. That's classic scissors. He's very conscious of making sure these guys don't get burned or hurt out here at the cost of his own safety sometimes. Realistic Derby Project red flag on the track for a potential fire here. Those of you that are watching on Facebook, 
Facebook Live looking brought to you by Jeffy's Fab Farm, giving you a taste of the action here at the Rec and Peck in Pecatonic, Illinois. This is uh, DTV Grassroots. A little bit more basic stream than you're used to, but uh, still providing the action to you. We still have uh, the old man feature coming up, a compact feature, the compact two man feature, a bone stock feature with the raffle car, and then the 80s feature uh, team event as well. So plenty of action still to come. If you want to catch it, you can get your ticket on DerbyNation.tv. Love to have you there. Countdown is on, and we're back to green. Short lived RDP red flag. down. Not able to get much power behind that shot. Clock trying to refire. Still got three vans. We got some rubber off of a rim. That won't pose any danger, so they shouldn't stop for that. 26 to Hernandez. They're having a harder time getting around now. Another fire, red flag on the track. Second fire for Cody Scott. He'll be all done. Impact Derby Products red flag for that fire. Tough break for Cody. He was really trying out there with three wheels. and Shaner. Back and forth they go. Hernandez has stalled. No, it was just quiet. Not a lot of power left in either one of these vans. Shaner trying to get some room to run. miss all that room and couldn't do it. Hernandez trying to drag himself forward, willing it to move. Shaner makes the contact. A lot of steam out of Shaner's machine again. Right on the wheel.
that's going to be it right there. 14th to get Shaner, getting the job done. Hernandez happy with second. Shaner just wants to get off the track. He's excited. Justin Shaner in the 14D gets your win. Jason Hernandez in the 26, well-earned second place. Steven Terpstra in the 925 van that's over there in the right-hand corner of the track. He got a wild ride, man. That thing, he uh, he took a beating in that van, whether he wanted to or not. Everybody seemed to find him either side. They worked him into the, each wall of the track. Terpstra, I believe, qualifies for our DerbyTees.com Junk Award. We're going to award him with that DerbyTees.com Junk Award. We appreciate their support of the event. want to send him home with a little token of our appreciation doesn't matter how it happens it only matters that your vehicle gets junked and that certainly happened to the 925 those of you that have joined us on Facebook make sure you're picking it up on DerbyNation.tv the rest of the broadcast will be available on DerbyNation.tv with your multi-pass ticket we still have the old man feature coming up which is for drivers ages 50 and older we have a compact feature, which is bone stock. We have a compact two-man team feature, the bone stock full-size feature, and the 80s and newer two-man feature also. So we want to uh, make sure you're getting your ticket. Watch it all on DerbyNation.tv. Thanks for being with us on Facebook. Thanks, Jeffy's Fab Farm.